family stability, working together. Um, what, what Rory has developed here is, um, is the envy of many of us. Now, many of us um, maybe wouldn't want our, our family this close. We might, might want some friends this close. Um, but, but without regard to that, working together uh, is a big deal. And, 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 and America's families, as you know, are fragmenting. Um, in the last, you know, 50 years, the, the, instead of a home-centric uh, culture, we've, we've become uh, everything but the home. The home has simply become a, a pit stop. Life, all of life happens outside the home. Home is just a pit stop between everything that's meaningful. And, and I suggest that homesteads offer us opportunities to work together. Uh, there's been a, a, a tremendous amount of psychology with COVID and isolation and all that stuff happening now, developing, you know, with relationships, friendships, and things like that. How do we, how do we create these? And one of the things that really permeates a lot of this uh, literature right now is that hardship creates relationships. If you want intimate relationships, you go through hardship together. You don't get to be close friends uh, down at the bar, okay? Um, you, you get it when you're both um, on, a, on a digging bar, mainly, uh, uh, digging a post hole, trying to get a rock out of it. You know, my, uh, at, at, you know, my dad and I, um, you know, we, we were out there, uh, one, you know, uh, uh, digging post holes. With, we, we were in a field that had a bunch of rocks in the bottom of it, and we... You know, you go down a foot and you're in these big uh, rocks. So we were, you know, had a digging iron and we were, you know, getting these rocks out. We're, you know, sweating and, and, and working together. And, and, and Dad says, boy, won't it be great when we get to some, this, uh, this push-button farming. You know, this was back in the 80s when, when by now the, the prophets were all saying by now farmers would just sit at a, like an airplane console and we'd just push buttons, you know, and robots would uh, do all this stuff. And so uh, every time Dad and I got into a hardship situation, well, this was our joke, you know. Uh, I'm looking for the, for the push-button farming days, you know. We can just uh, sit in a console and push buttons. But, but those hardships now are my favorite memories. That's one reason why military personnel, soldiers, develop such deep relationships because, because they're in hardship. If you're getting ready to get shot at, you get really good friends with your buddy in the foxhole, right? And so a homestead gives lots of opportunities for hardship. Anybody that's trying to uh, turn your hard clay scrabble into deep, dark loam, um, anybody that's trying to, you know, um, uh, coax another calf out of a geriatric cow you probably should have called last year. Anybody who's trying to coax another bale out of that old broken down New Holland that's, you know, got a chain busted and a, and a, a needle cracked and you're trying to get another uh, bale of hay out. Um, anybody that's tried to chase down the, the goats when they've gotten out for the umpteenth time, people say, why don't you have goats? I said, because we had them. But trying to solve problems, you're sitting around as a family, you're trying to figure out how to fix the water leak, how to, how to, how to uh, uh, deal with that weed, that weed pressure problem in the lower pasture. Um, you know, all those kinds, how to put in the fence post, where to put in the fence post, those kinds of things that working together creates family stability. And does our culture need family stability? Yes, we sure do.